Do you ever experience an achy sore neck or back while sitting at your desk or while using your mobile device? <laughs> if so, you're part of an electronic epidemic of pain. And there's a name for it. It's called tech neck. That's what it's called. It's not just happening to the uh, youngsters out there, but folks of all ages. Sylvia Perez with more on what it is and what you can do to fix it. Walking and texting, looking down at your computer or iPad for hours at a time. It can literally be a pain in the neck, and it's a real condition that's been coined tech neck. It was just nagging, and, you know, every single night, kind of like as the day went on, it kind of got worse. Megan is part of what doctors call a growing epidemic, striking people of all ages, from millennials to baby boomers. It has to do with excessive flexion of your neck throughout the day, um, and it can cause undue muscle strain and sometimes strain on the, the cervical spine. Here's what's happening. As we look down at our phones or computers, we tend to hunch our shoulders forward along with our necks. That can add up to an extra 60 pounds of weight to our neck. It's this bad repetitive posture that can cause an unnatural curve in our spine, resulting in nerve pain, bulging disc, and a burning and tingling sensation that may go down to your arms and legs. That can result in early spine degeneration that could require surgery or spine fusions. The pain can also manifest in ways that just might surprise you. So sometimes you think it's carpal tunnel when really Really, it's actually a cervical spine neck derangement. And here's something else to consider. The bad posture affects your breathing and can aggravate problems for people with asthma and sinus infections. Slide them up this way too. So what's the solution? Doctors say take breaks from technology. And here's some helpful exercises from Megan and her physical therapist. The first, the chin tuck. If you imagine your chin is on a shelf and you just kind of stick your chin straight back. Number two, stretching your neck. So you're going to bring your nose down toward the hip and just gently pull down this way. So this one you're going to feel more at the back of the neck. Number three, break out the foam roller. I would just lie right on there with it all along your spine. You can just do one arm up, one arm down to loosen things up. It's working for Megan. She realizes treating tech neck pain today can mean avoiding surgery and chronic neck and back pain in the future. Sylvia Perez, Fox 32 News. Practicing the stretching yes, now. Right.